Steam Turbine Emergency Stop Valve, Complete Working Explained. Welcome to my YouTube channel, I am Engineer Umar where we explain the most critical components of steam turbines. In this video, we will explore the emergency stop valve, commonly known as the ESV. What is an emergency stop valve? The emergency stop valve ESV is one of the most important safety components in a steam turbine system. Its main purpose is to immediately cut off steam flow to the turbine in case of an emergency. This protects the turbine from overspeed, overpressure, lubrication failure, or any other critical condition that could lead to catastrophic failure. Police cars revolving light the ESV is placed directly in the steam line between the boiler and the turbine. It is normally in the closed position during startup and is opened only when conditions are safe for turbine operation. Once closed, the valve acts as a barrier, preventing any steam from entering the turbine. How does the ESV work? The ESV operates on hydraulic oil pressure, typically around 25 kg per square centimeter. It uses this pressure to actuate a piston that opens or closes the valve. There are two pistons inside the valve. Open piston. Close piston. The close piston is spring-loaded, meaning if oil pressure drops or a trip occurs, the spring will force the valve to shut immediately, this is a fail-safe mechanism. To open the valve, high-pressure oil, usually 25 kg per square centimeter, is supplied to the open piston, which pushes the valve into the open position. At the same time, the close piston is depressurized to allow movement. Roll of 25 kg per square centimeter oil pressure in resetting the valve. When the turbine trips, the oil pressure to the open piston is cut off, and the spring in the close piston forces the valve to shut, cutting off steam supply instantly. To reset the valve after a trip, the operator must 1. Ensure all trip conditions are cleared over speed, low lube oil pressure, high vibration, etc. 2. Supply 25 kg per square centimeter control oil to the open piston. 3. Depressurize the close piston line using the solenoid operated valve, SOV. When the open piston receives full pressure and the close piston is vented, the valve moves back to the open position, ready for normal turbine operation. This reset can usually be monitored from the turbine control panel, and in many modern systems, the process is semi-automatic. Working of the solenoid operated valve SOV. Now let's understand the SOV, or solenoid operated valve. The SOV is an electrically controlled valve that directs the flow of high pressure control oil. White right pointing backhand index it plays a critical role in routing or blocking oil flow to either the open or closed pistons of the ESV. Here's how it works. When the turbine is in a safe condition and ready to run, the SOV energizes, allowing oil to flow to the open piston while venting the closed piston. During a trip, the SOV de-energizes, stopping oil flow to the open piston and allowing oil pressure to build in the closed piston, forcing the ESV to shut. Think of the SOV as the electrical brain behind the hydraulic action of the ESV. Without the SOV, we cannot control the direction of hydraulic oil that determines whether the ESV opens or shuts. White have a check mark so to summarize. The emergency stop valve is a crucial safety device that isolates the turbine from steam during critical conditions. It uses 25 kg per square centimeter oil pressure to open the valve via the open piston. A spring-loaded closed piston ensures the valve shuts during trips. The SOV controls the direction of hydraulic oil flow to reset and operate the ESV safely. Proper functioning of the ESV is essential for safe turbine operation, and regular maintenance and testing of the system including the pistons, hydraulic oil pressure, and SOV, is critical. Speaking head in silhouette hash if you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe for more turbine-related content. Bell don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Outgoing email symbol got questions about turbine safety systems. Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.